Hey, it's Mike with Fleetwood RV. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Discovery 38W. This is a beautiful bath and a half unit with his and her sinks in the rear, opposed seating, and a very functional kitchen. So here it is, the Discovery 38W. This particular exterior graphic is saltwater. And since this is new to 2023, I don't have all the graphics memorized, but we also have Blue Jacket, Charleston, Copperhead, and Imperial. With all of those exterior graphics, you're still gonna get the double clear coat. What that's doing is adding a lot of UV protection to your motorhome, and it's eliminating all these paint lines. So we put three coats of clear on it, we sand it down, and we put three more coats of clear on it. And that's gonna protect your paint job for a long time. And another thing with our sidewalls, there's no Luon backer. So this is an ultra thick piece of fiberglass, and then it's put together by a vacuum bonding process with no substrate on the back of our fiberglass. A lot of the competition's using Luon. The issue with that is, is if there's any moisture that gets inside your motorhome, uh, high humidity, if that glue breaks down, you get a big d lamb in your motorhome, and that's gonna cost you a lot of money in repairs later on down the road. But the Discovery is built on an XCM chassis. That's a modular chassis. And then we pair that with our Freedom Bridge. This, is, this process is exclusive to Fleetwood, Holiday Rambler, and American Coach. This is a seven and a half inch I-beam that runs two of them that run down the length of this motorhome. That's eliminating virtually all of the twist. So that's gonna protect your, all your components on the inside and plus stop your tile from cracking as well. We have fuel fill on each side. So we have dual fuel fills. And when we look at some of the storage and due to that um, Freedom Bridge, we got some industry leading storage. All of the basement compartments are lined in Citadel. That's a full composite material that um, you're not gonna have to worry about molding on you. It doesn't get dirty. That's the exact same material they use in car wash bays. So that just tells you how durable that product is. You look at some of the other motorhomes that have carpet in it, and after a while, that stuff looks real dingy. You think about all the stuff you're putting in your basement is all the stuff you don't want inside on your carpet. So why would we have carpet in our basement? Uh, standard, we have one pull-out Moride tray. And then in our next compartment is a continuation of that compartment. So all of your large bulky items can go in these next compartments. And if you look up above, we have all sheet steel lined underbellies. No Darko as you see in some of the competition. The Darko is basically like a tarp. That is, it rips very, very easy. And a lot of the time it exposes raw OSB. That's another thing too. We use no OSB in our products. It's all marine grade plywood. It's really gonna help with the longevity of your motorhome. Right up above, we have our exterior entertainment system. This is a Samsung TV and we have a sound bar that sits on the backside of that TV to really enhance the audio for the uh, exterior motorhome when you're sitting underneath this large patio. That patio does have um, motion sensors on it. Some of them have wind sensors. And when you go with a wind sensor, it has all the little spoons that spin. When they spin quick enough, it'll run your slide out box or your patio awning in. The issue with that is if any uh, sap or any debris gets caught up in those spoons, it doesn't spin anymore. So you're awning will not go in. With the motion sensor, as soon as these legs start to jiggle, it'll automatically run it in. We have a 30 amp MPP solar charger. So with the technology package, you're getting a 300 watt solar panel and there should be enough room up there to add another solar panel to the 30 amp solar charger. If you go above that, you have to upgrade your solar charger. We have a Dirt Devil and we have our Surge Guard. This is a transfer switch. So what that's doing is uh, picking which power to supply your unit. So your generator is automatically going to take priority. We have two cables coming in. One's going to be your generator and one's going to be your shore power. So again, if your generator kicks on and you're plugged into the post, it's going to switch over and supply power from your generator. And that's because generators always produce clean power. A 
One thing we have to mention on all discoveries, we partner with Freightliner Custom Chassis to, or for the chassis on this motorhome, which one of their main components is V-Ride. V-Ride is a very, very important feature. What that's doing is it's stabling your unit up. So when you back out of uneven driveways, it's gonna stop your unit from shaking. When you go around um, curves and their speed limit says 40 miles an hour, Typically with a motorhome, you need to slow down like 25 miles an hour because it leans so much. And with the V-Ride, that lean is eliminated, so you can go ahead and take that curve at 40 miles an hour if you choose to do so. And we have this V-Ride will put up to a 24,000 pound rear axle on as well. The next compartment is some storage here, all steel. As you notice, there's no wood in our basement. Wood rots, it deteriorates, it has to be replaced. We try to eliminate all of that. So we have all Citadel, composite, and steel in our basements. We have a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So all of our components are protected on the inside. Last compartment on this side, again, is storage. And we have the hydraulic pump to our leveling jacks. So if you get to a campsite, your leveling jacks won't come up. We can go right here and run them up manually and you're no longer stranded in, at the campsite. Moving on to the back, we have camera up top. The camera has one-way audio in it, so you can hear your spotter talk to you, but they can't hear you, anything, anything that you say. Um, right under the gate, we have access to all of our important maintenance items. So your transmission fluid, your engine oil, and to check your air filter. And coming back from Freightliner training, some of your top maintenance items, every year you need to replace your fuel filter and your oil filter. Every two years you need to replace your air cleaner. And then every three years you need to replace your air dryer. And one, your air dryer is one of your number one neglected items. So make sure you guys are changing that every three years. We'll jump down here to the bottom all of your diesel products are going to come with brake sync. That is this right here. It's a quick disconnect. So this thing is already prepped for your tow vehicle. So when you got, if you have a, a Blue Ox or uh, Air Force One, whatever in your, uh, in your tow vehicle, you can go ahead and hook up to this from day one and know you have uh, additional stopping power. That's a standalone system too. It's not tied into your um, brake lines. That's warrantied and backed by Freightliner Custom Chassis. Right here is our battery compartment. These are six volt batteries. They're wired in series and parallel. So these are your house batteries, not the batteries you'll come to jump it if your coach for some reason is dead. And then that air filter we change every two years is located right here. And that is uh, the whole component changes. There's no element on the inside of it. Next compartment, we have our starting batteries. So right here's where you'll come to jump that motor home uh, if it's dead. And before you were to jump it, if these are dead, we have an auxiliary switch on our dash. If you hold down that auxiliary start switch, it'll transfer the power from our house batteries into our starting batteries and uh, get you started up that way. Right here, we have a 13 gallon DEF tank and that's only using about two and a half percent. So every five and a half times you fill up your 100 gallon fuel tank, you add um, death fluid. Here we just passed the badge to remind us that we do have V-Ride on this motorhome. And then into our utility bay. This unit has a 50 amp electric power cord. There's a hole routed in the bottom that we can run that power cord out and we can keep this compartment locked up at the campground whole house um, water filter. And we recommend you change that every 8,000 gallons. Uh, water pump switch for the exterior shower, low point drains. So whenever you come to winterize your motor home, right here's our low point drains and our water bypass. Sandy flushed, keep that black tank cleaned out. And then our knife valves. Right here's our main valve for our 100 gallon fresh water tank. And then we have our black, black and gray right here. So again, we always recommend you dump your black tank first and then use your gray uh, tank to flush out your system and help clean that out. Moving up again, 
Now, all three of these compartments are continuations of the other side. It's full pass-through storage, all Citadel lined. And then we have our Aquahot 400D. The Aquahot is a amazing feature. What, uh, what that's doing is it's supplying hot air into your motorhomes, doing all of your heating, and then it's also heating your water. Uh, the big benefit when it heats your unit that it's not depleting any of the ambient humidity like you would in a propane uh, furnace. With that being said, there's no propane on board. This runs purely off electric for light loads, and then it also runs off your 100 gallon uh, diesel tank provided by a Freightliner. The other side of our fuel fill, and then the front compartment, we just have our Freightliner components, uh, windshield wiper fluid. In the top right though, we have two air chucks. That bottom one is to get air if you need to fill up some toys or if you have bike tires you wanna fill up or something. And then that top one is to get air in your system. These are spring-loaded brakes. So when air is in your system, it releases your brakes. If there's no air in your system, the springs compress and stop your coach. So if you had no air in your system, you had to get this towed somehow, you would have to um, somehow get air into it. And that's how you would do that right there. Mirrors that are mounted up high, bus style mirrors, they're chrome. And we do have our cameras mounted up top. So that's gonna keep your cameras out of this splash zone. All of this stuff you see on the uh, coach right here is from driving it. So that would be located or end up on the lens of your cameras. Then they're not much use to you because you can't see what's beside them. And one thing I did forget is 2023, all of your units now come with tire pressure monitoring systems. So that's an option that we get from Freightliner Custom Chassis. And the good thing about it is it, also, it, it shows you the air pressure plus the temperature, it, which is very important because a lot of times when your tire fails, you're gonna notice a rise in temperature before you see a lowering pressure in your tires. So any 2023 you get from us, Fleetwood, you will have tire pressure monitoring system and the back module is prepped for your tow vehicle. So if you wanna add that to your tow vehicle or a trailer, just take it to a Freightliner dealer and just tell them you want the tire pressure monitoring bands put inside. They'll take the sizes and help you get that done. Now let's jump inside and take a look at this motorhome. So now that we're inside of the Discovery 38W, let's take a look at what the accessibility is like to our important amenities. As we move back into the galley, we have full access to our kitchen. We have our induction cooktop, convection microwave, easily accessible. Right here is our dinette, no issues here at all. Moving back, moving into the bathroom, we have a pretty good amount to get into the, um, the bathroom. And right across from that is our refrigerator. And that door actually opens up all the way. So we do have access to that. And then moving back into the bedroom, we can get to our bed, but we just cannot get over it. And that's pretty standard in a Class A motorhome. The bed does have to be up in an articulated position in order to get the slide out boxes closed. But as you can see, we still have plenty of room for one person to get up here and take a nap if they needed to without opening up the slide out boxes. And even at that, if we needed to have more sleeping space, we can always drop our drop down bunk down without open up our, opening up our slide out boxes as well. So let's open this unit up and see what it's like in camping mode. So here it is all opened up in camping mode. This particular interior decor is Ridgeland and we have it paired with the winter fog cabinetry. There are three other cabinetry options as well. We have Heritage, which is very similar to the winter fog, but there's no gray inlays in all the crevices. And then we also have Greystone, which is a wood grain pattern that has a gray tint to it. And then we have English Chestnut and that's gonna be your more natural uh, wood looking color. But let's jump up front, look at some of the features and work our way back. Starting up in the cockpit, you tell there's a lot of attention to safety. These are big rigs and we wanna be comfortable whenever we're driving them. So we'll start with our drive tech. Right here on the paddle is where we shift our motor home. So by turning this forward, it'll go into drive and then backwards goes into reverse. And our engine brake is located right here. So, 
all of these controls are very accessible while your eyes are on the road. You don't have to be looking around for a engine brake. It's all located right here. And then we'll move up to the digital dash. It's an OptiView by Freightliner Custom Chassis. It actually was pulled out of a Mercedes S-Class and it's customizable too. We can change our bottom three gauges to display whatever features are important to you. Over on the right, we have dual monitors, which again is a huge safety feature. The one on the left is going to have our navigation on it. The one on the right is gonna show all of our cameras. Now where that plays as a big safety feature is some of the manufacturers are only putting in one, uh, one screen. So think about it, if you're getting off the ramp and some of those ramps can be very congested, you have to pick at that time, do you wanna see what's beside you or do you wanna see where your exit is at? With Fleetwood, you don't have to worry about that. We give you two monitors. And then up front, that little box is our mobilized sensor. And then the little screen right here is our display for our mobile eye. That actually watches for speed zones. So if you feel comfortable driving 10 mile an hour over the speed limit, you can set that to 10 mile an hour over. And then if you exceed that, it'll alert you. It does collision mitigation and you can program again that to where you feel comfortable driving, um, how far from other objects. And it will also watch for pedestrians. It does lane departure. But the biggest thing about the mobile eye, you heard me say a couple times, that is programmable to how you feel comfortable driving. If it was going off all the time, what would you do? You would just turn it down or shut it off and then it loses all of its benefit. So this way it can really focus on your driving habits. We'll jump up top. We have a little bit of storage here, but this is our TV lockout for this TV. So no, you can't be watching the football game while you're traveling down the road. This is our Wii Boost for our cell service that does come in the technology package. And then right over here, we have a Eclipse module for our Firefly. The Eclipse module allows you to control this motorhome from anywhere in the world, as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi. And then our Wi-Fi Ranger and the little switch right here is the light for the bunks up above and 110 park cable is all located in here in the cabinet right above the passenger seat we have our automatic leveling system and we have two of our slide out controls if you're operating your full slide and it's not working first thing i would do is make sure this key is on the on position and your parking brake is on then moving back we'll see the drop down bunk this is an option in the discovery and plus it is a 500 pound capacity. So probably not too often you have 500 pounds up here, but I just showed you the durability. If the kids are up there romping around, you don't have to worry about it damaging the system. Moving back into the living area, we have opposed seating. This one here pulls out into a bed. It's not a jackknifing, it's an actual pull out uh, queen size, I believe. And right above that is our televator. And over here we have power, theater seating and it looks as if our inverter is not on so it's another great tip if you want to use your um, theater seating the inverter needs to be on and that goes with your uh, fireplace your microwave your refrigerator all those your articulating bed your inverter switch has to be on or those will not operate we'll move back into the kitchen this unit comes standard with a credenza and a freestanding dinette. So you can flip the lock here, pull this out. And we do have two more chairs in the back that match this for additional seating. Then the company leaves, you put this back in and lock it. So it gives you a lot more room when this is closed up in travel mode. And this is standard. If this is not something that you're fond of, you can also get a regular booth dinette put in as well. Right up above, we have a bunch of storage. All of these are ozite lined, which gives it a real nice finish to look. Right. And this right here is our HDMI matrix box. So what that's doing is, as you see below, we have a Blu-ray player. That single Blu-ray player can play on all of our TVs, including the exterior. It plugs into our HDMI matrix box, and then we go to the TV that we want and just put which input that we want. So it makes it really nice right there. Moving over to the galley, we'll take a look at some of the storage. 
Right up above, we have, again, all Ozite lined cabinetry. All of our shelves are adjustable and all metal hardware. Same on the other side. Down below, we have a large pull-out area for your larger pots and pans, even with the optional dishwasher. If you do not want the dishwasher, we can um, opt to have that out and give you more storage. Right underneath, we have another large storage area for your trash cans. And then up above, we have a little fold-down one for some sponges or utensils in there. And plus, we have the pull-out peninsula for additional countertop space and three extra drawers for uh, storage. Underneath our solid surface covers, we have a stainless steel sink. And that is a dual sink. Moving over to our induction cooktop, as we mentioned earlier, there is no propane on board. So full electric here and a convection microwave. And we'll move back into the pantry. We have four pull out for all of your canned goods, cereal, whatever you wanna put in here. And then we have a stainless steel residential refrigerator. Right across from the refrigerator is our Firefly Multiplex. And we mentioned earlier that it does have the Eclipse. So this is controllable from anywhere in the world as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi. But with our Multiplex, we can turn all of our lights on. We can run our slide out boxes out. That's a new feature. Right here's where we'll enable our, G or our auto gen start, all of our HVAC controls vents up and down this is the one where we can now control our slide out boxes from the control panel moving into the mid bath we have all solid surface countertops porcelain toilet we have no abs toilets in any of our products storage down below right up above on the medicine cabinet we have dual mirrors and storage behind there and then up above the toilet is our control panel that's for the firefly and this is all of your breakers right here we have our ac manual overrides in this compartment as well and we'll come out and go into the master bedroom we have a king articulating bed great spot to set have a cup of coffee catch up on the news in the morning we for 2023 we just added all of these digital touch panels and that is linked to our firefly bunch of overhead storage up above again all ozite line all metal hardware another neat feature that we have available to us while we're in our bed is our camera selector switch what this is doing is it's going to display all of our cameras on the exterior of the motorhome on our bedroom tv so if you hear a bump in the night, there's no need to get up and go look. You can literally hit the switch and see what's all around your motorhome. Coming across for the storage and the wardrobes, we have two full length hanging wardrobes right here. They're adjustable shelves. So if you want to use this for a half, half length wardrobe and still have shelving, you can do so, or you can convert it to a full length. A nice little prep area right here. And we have five drawers to put all of your clothes in. And then up above, we have our LG TV. Now back into the main bathroom. I think this is what makes a 38W a 38W. We have the a post seating in the living area, and then we have this bathroom that has dual sinks at the vanity. Both sinks have their own medicine cabinet. And then we have one in the middle that we can split as well. Down below, we have large storage area at the bottom. Again, both sides mirror each other perfectly. And then we have the commons area in the middle. We have another four drawers right here. For the shower, all glass doors. It's a fiberglass shower. And we have stainless steel fixtures in it. We have the skylight up above, which gives you a lot more headroom. And then we do have a built-in bench as well. Right beside the shower, we have a stackable washer and dryer. 
These are real pull appliances. So high-end appliances for a high-end coach. And then we'll come over to the toilet. Another porcelain toilet. And look at all the storage up above. And a little down below as well. So that's the walk around on the Discovery 38W. Use the comment section below and let us know what you guys like about the 38W. The MSRP on this unit is $457,000. And of course that's MSRP, that's not what you're paying. So go to fleetwoodrv.com, find out where the closest Fleetwood dealer is to you and go out and see what, they, uh, what the best deal you can get. Also, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more walk around videos.